Welcome to EM Facts. As a new mother, you want to provide your little one with the best possible nutrition, which often means breastfeeding. But did you know what you eat can affect your breast milk and your baby's health? In this episode, we'll discuss five foods to limit or avoid while breastfeeding. Number one on our list is caffeine. While caffeine is safe in moderation, excessive amounts can lead to irritability and difficulty sleeping for your baby. Limit your caffeinated beverages such as coffee, tea, and energy drinks to avoid this. Number two is dairy products. Although they are an excellent source of calcium and protein, some babies are sensitive to the proteins found in dairy products. This sensitivity can lead to fussiness, gas, and even colic. If you notice any of these symptoms in your baby, try cutting back on dairy products or switching to dairy alternatives like almond milk or soy milk. Number three on our list is spicy foods. Spicy foods can cause discomfort for some babies and can even lead to diarrhea in some cases. So it's best to avoid them or limit them in your diet while breastfeeding. Number four is peanuts. Peanuts are a common allergen, and exposure to peanuts through breast milk can increase the risk of developing a peanut allergy in some babies. If you have a family history of allergies or notice any signs of an allergic reaction in your baby, it's best to avoid peanuts and peanut products while breastfeeding. And last but not least, number five on our list is fish. While fish is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids and protein, some fish can contain high levels of mercury, which can harm your baby's developing brain and nervous system. So it's best to avoid high mercury fish like sharks, swordfish, and king mackerel while breastfeeding. And that's it for our episode on five foods to limit or avoid while breastfeeding. Remember, the food you eat can affect your breast milk and your baby's health, so making informed choices is essential. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on EM Facts.